A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel, The Twin Flame Union. In this channeling session, I would be talking about a divine feminine. Basically, she is representing a lot of divine feminines at this time. And she wants to stay away from the divine masculine or the masculine who is not healed right now, who is not in his real self. He's not fully awakened. She wants to stay away from him. And the energy of this channeling is such that the divine masculine and the divine feminine, for whatever reason, they have to face each other regularly. Now, I have done one more channeling, which has a, a message where she cannot tolerate his presence around her. Okay, where he is physically present around her hovering around her for some reason or the other and she is finding very difficult to cope up with that because his presence makes her angry. She is not the same divine feminine who was pining for him, who was crying because of him, who was missing him badly or who was justifying all his abusive behavior towards her constantly. What she was doing for a long time instead of understanding that she has been abused or she has been treated badly by him, she rationalized all his faulty treatment towards her. She would always think that every time she would think of something bad he has done, she would think of why he could have done that. And many a times he would, she would even defend him, defend him constantly. Like if he did this to me, he must be having a very good reason for it. It must be my bad karma or it must be because of some wound he has, so on and so forth. But that is not how you, how you see things in the 3D reality. In the 3D and the 5D reality, why these two realities you need to understand them and why you need to stay in 5D and above is because 3D people are very selfish. Most of the three dimensional people who are totally in three dimensional reality, they're extremely selfish. When they want something for themselves, they don't realize how many people they are hurting around them. And a lot of them are the privileged sorts. They are raised with the privilege that they can hurt others for whatever XYZ reason. Okay. However, my friends, this channeling is not about how much she is not able to tolerate his presence rather right now in this in this session's energy she wants to stay away from him she does not want him in her life one thing is that she is angry she cannot tolerate him she does not want him around her that is understandable but right now she is like no I don't even want him in my life anymore. He could be a twin flame. He could be a whatever divine masculine twin flame. I don't care. But I don't want him to be in my life because the things that he has done to me, I am opened up. I'm awakened now. Till the time I was asleep, semi asleep or still trying to figure things out. I was justifying his wrongdoings towards me. And I was thinking, all right, whatever he has done to me. He is my masculine after all, blah, blah, blah. But she realized during the inner work process, during the therapy process, during the healing process, she realized that this is unhealthy for her and this is disrespectful of her. Disrespectful towards her. And why he did not choose me? Did he think that I am any less? Why he did not commit to me? <clears throat> he could have fun time with me. He could share his problems with me. He could ask for help from me, but he did not want to be with me. And in some cases, the masculine clearly told the feminine on her face that you are not my choice. Somebody else is my choice. Or I don't want to be with you because of X, Y, Z reasons. Because you are like this, you are like that. He basically wanted a toy which works with a key. You fill, you know, the you turn the key and the monkey the toy will dance he wanted a woman who would keep him entertained he only wants good times <clears throat> any difficulty any problem any situation 
he cannot take any responsibility if he will take a responsibility if he committed to some other woman that is because that woman so called karmic is willing to take his responsibility she is willing to take care of him and that is their own way in what areas in some cases the masculine doesn't want to earn any money he just wants to sit at home relax spend whatever his parents have earned for him destroy it but no i cannot do any hard work i cannot do any labor so these are the divine masculines who turn false later on or there is a high possibility of them turning false because you cannot you cannot change a person right you cannot change someone's nature you can change the habits but it's not possible to change the nature or if the programming is very deep and they don't want to let it go knowingly some of these masculines are very intelligent they are very well read they understand spiritual basics at least they understand that there is something called commitment a true human being if a true human being makes a commitment they will live by it till the rest of their lives the reason we pray the reason we worship to ram and sita it's not because they had a very great life they had a fancy life they were very successful in all the things they were doing they had no problems no challenges we don't worship them because of that that they were in the heaven singing and dancing all the time we worship them because they never gave up on their commitment if ram made a commitment he made sure he fulfilled that commitment he made a commitment to sita that he will never marry any other woman he will never marry or he will never love any other woman the only woman who lives in his heart will always be sita and that's it and we are not talking about normal people we are talking about kings and queens over here one of the biggest responsibility of the king and the queen are their subjects so both sita and ram chose to go away from each other even though they fell in love they were in love and they were like the most deepest unconditional love they have for each other that type of love they have for each other despite that type of love despite finding the one despite knowing this is my ultimate lover my true lover the truest person for me imagine how difficult it is despite knowing it's not like today's world where the dm is going after some karmic or the mass feminine is you know doesn't have any energy she doesn't feel any confidence in her capabilities it's not like that here both the feminine and masculine are ahead of their times only working only doing their duties as human beings experiencing this human life and serving their mission there are two types of masculines okay mostly which we have seen in twin flame and depending on this they turn false or true there is one type where they are completely closed completely shut down with the soul connection they don't have a soul connection in 3d reality people are not connected to their soul there are some who are connected to the soul but they are very trapped in the illusion also so they want to do something that comes from their heart that comes from their soul that comes from within them which is out of unconditional love they want to do it they try it but they fail eventually with time you know they they keep trying 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 they lose the fear of failure and then eventually they come into their real potential but till the time that does not happen who is going to go through this torture the divine feminine because every time he would break a commitment or he would just say no i can't do this it's not possible it's not happening she will be feeling heartbroken because she has so much expectations or if even if it's not expectations she has this wish or she has this feeling that yes i want him to be responsible i want him to take his responsibilities head on why he is not doing this why it hurts her and when he comes up with excuses really hopeless excuses it hurts her even more that he doesn't want to make any effort he wants all fun and joy and singing and dancing and laughing and joking and gossiping always on your face he wants to see a smile 
but that is not a real person's life how can a real person how can a genuine person constantly be smiling constantly be laughing constantly be happy happiness does not mean that you are always you know with a weird strange expression on your face the same expression basically you can't have the same expression happiness is about balance happiness is about inner balance that no matter what happens in the outside world i don't get affected and i don't lose my balance and this is the reason why we worship ram and sita because they have gone through the maximum amount of challenges in their life as gods and goddesses as incarnated twin flame couple they were the ones who have gone through so many rough situations together even in shiva and parvati's life you would not see so many challenges because during the time of sati they faced the biggest challenge but that biggest challenge was about social status because sati's father felt that their social status is much higher than what shiva was so he did not like that at all about him here everything is matching with ram and sita the social status is matching the love is there there is unconditional love there is trust there is commitment whatever commitment ram made to sita till the end of his life he made sure like sita had left planet earth much before after that also ram continued to rule but he never looked at any other woman that is the type of committing masculine you need a masculine who understands that she is my feminine in my heart in my soul i love only her now whatever challenges we face that's 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 happening with everyone here in this case the masculine is not awakened he is not healed in this channeling in fact no matter what they have between each other the affair whether it's a secret affair whether it's a public affair whether they are business partners whether they are in some project together whether they are in a group together whether they are in a mission together whether they are best friends whether whether they visit the same uh, counseling group or whether they are involved in the same mission like some animal mission some bird mission some nature related mission some environmental duty they have whatever the reason is that does not matter but she feels that he is weak he is weak he is not worthy of her love he is not worthy of all the affection she thinks she feels that she has been thinking so highly of him that she has been ignoring all his bad behavior she has been ignoring the wrong things he has been doing the escapism that he has been showing it cannot be tolerated why why is he talking why is she talking to him why is she in his life in this channeling she doesn't even want to be around him or he wants she wants her she wants him to stay away from her and she tells him like what type of relationship do i have with you if i don't respect you if i don't have any respect for you what do you want me to think about you how do you want me to see you no respect no love the real meaning of love is respect respect and responsibility these two things make a man or a woman a commitment commitmentful a dutiful person you are not that you're just full of lies lying 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 today lying tomorrow lying yesterday your whole life is full of lies you lied to me also on so many occasions you li- you lied and still i was like okay i'm going to you know all this manipulation the feminine does not want manipulation she feels that in the past also she was manipulated she was manipulated by her own people and this is the last thing she wants from a man or in any relationship to get manipulated so she tells him that i cannot tolerate manipulation and i cannot be with you i cannot see your face i have been yes i have been crazy for you at one time i have liked you i have loved you but that's not how i feel anymore and she she gives all the credit to inner work because inner work has given her real eyes her third eye is open it is telling her that you need to be respected you need to be someone who whose emotions whose feelings are respected and you're not expecting you're not asking like the karmic you're not asking for money or status or a tag commitment label you have not asked him for anything 
and still he is doing this there are karmics who make literally barter deals i will sleep with you you give me this i will do this for you you do this for me and in the in front of the world they pretend like they are in love and whatever the feminine is not doing that so she feels that after all my love support encouragement upliftment that i give to this man what does he do he runs away from all his responsibilities i don't i don't want to do anything because basically what has happened another reason why this has happened is her patience her endurance has gotten finished because it's like you make 10 commitments okay four you don't fulfill five six you fulfill 50% you're there you're not there but out of those 10 there is one commitment one responsibility that is extremely crucial and important it proves a lot it shows a lot about a person how the person is and that one responsibility also he does not take and this is where her endurance her patience gets over she feels like i can't do this anymore i am done with this i don't even respect him anymore because a normal person even a normal person would not do this and here i have put him on this pedestal of divine masculine how can he be divine how can he even be masculine right now he is not even masculine forget about being divine he is not divine masculine he is just a masculine a, ma a man that's it a man with the genitals of man that's it he is not acting like a man he is not behaving like a man he is not fulfilling his responsibilities like a man he is full of escapism full of running what is this runner chaser dynamic runner chaser dynamic is when a person keeps running away from the person he loves how is that person worthy of love then and the feminine says i am not going to chase as it is in this energy whosoever these feminines are as it is they had stopped chasing they had stopped chasing and they had taken up the load they had taken up the responsibilities and they are doing pretty well by themselves so this confidence is also kind of telling them again and again that what has he done you are the one who did all the work you are the one who took the responsibility you are the one who fulfilled the mission you are the one who is doing inner work what is he doing <clears throat> so these kind of questions she is asking and within herself so these are very natural things from her soul only this type of feeling is coming right now where she is like not feeling anything for him she doesn't want to talk to him it's like every time she tries to feel that this will work out this relationship this journey everything will work out with him she wants to do it with him if not completely then at least you know some responsibility he can share and just when she feels that yes this is this is it it can work out it will happen i have some hope he always takes it away from her and he knows that it will hurt her he knows when he is even when he is doing that thing whether he is getting hurt or not he doesn't want to think about that but he definitely knows that this is going to hurt her for sure because she is invested in it emotionally she has put her heart into it and these type of masculines they brag a lot they brag a lot about who they are what they can do what their dreams are all about what their passions are all about and here in this case the feminine is also going to leave him now she does not want to be with him she has made up her mind she feels that it's a false twin it can it's not a real twin this is not what i wanted i have invested so many years in this person in this relationship and the only thing i have got from this is humiliation embarrassment pain and it's like i i'm always being pulled down so i do all this inner work i do all this hard work i uplift myself and then he does something that brings me down totally i come down crashing like how many times can i crash how many times should i do crash landing i don't need to do crash landing all the time i can 
do normal regular landing also and i don't want to do this anymore she has made up her mind that this is not what i want and she's telling god she's telling her guide she's telling her master she's telling her angels the same thing that please look at my pain look at the pain i am in look at the situation i am in anybody who comes to my life this is what they do to me and i every time i feel that yes there is a hope in somebody someone something can work out i put all my heart and soul into it and this is what happens and this is for those people also who have had more than one false twins because false twins are basically twins that turn negative they choose the devil they shake hands with the devil and they say okay i can't do this life of virtue and honesty it's not for me i want easy life so they give up on the commitment even if it's if it means that if they don't fulfill that commitment what is going to happen that thing that dream that person that energy it will die they are willing to let it die for their own comfort for their own easiness for their own joy for their own relaxation they are willing to let it go the most true thing be it the relationship with feminine or be it some other commitment they made which is a genuine commitment a heartfelt a soul commitment and this time the feminine cannot tolerate it on that note on this note i would be signing out from this session thank you so much for being here with me one love and peace out